So good evening, everyone, or good morning, or afternoon, wherever you may be. Welcome to this exciting webinar on AI video translation brought to you by ACO. I'm Eugene, and I'm thrilled to guide you through this journey today. To kick things off, I have the honor of introducing the visionary behind ACO, our CEO, Jiajun. How are you, Jiajun? Uh, good, good. Thank you. Okay, that's great. So just so people can get to know you a little bit better, Jajun, could you do you mind sharing a little bit about yourself? For example, your his your background, your likes, your deepest, darkest secret, your dislikes? Um, uh, yeah, so I'm uh, actually a pretty technical guy. So uh I do lots of research about Gen AI and how to make videos and images to look better. So mm -hmm. I really like to spend my time to watch videos and so on. Mm -hmm. And um, meanwhile, I'm also uh, people very interested to bring the technology to be available uh, to more people and benefit more communities and so on. And uh, that's why uh, I started a call um, using business to empower people with uh, technologies that I think is cool and great. Oh, that's amazing. Could you tell us a little bit about what exactly ACOL is then? Yeah, so we are an AI-focused uh, company. So we mainly develop uh, AI technologies to create and edit videos and images and so on for marketing and advertisement and uh, personalized videos and so on. Yeah. Oh, well, for one... I'm very glad that you came up with ACOL because without it, I wouldn't have a job. But as I've seen by the title, we are diving into one of the six amazing tools that ACOL provides, the AI Video Translator. So what is it exactly? It's a revolutionary technology that utilizes artificial intelligence, AI, to translate spoken content and videos. It involves complex algorithms that process audio, processes audio, extract meaningful information, and generate accurate translations. But I'm a little too dumb to understand how, like, what goes behind the scenes. My brain is a little too smooth. So I have no idea how all of it works. So let's hear a little bit from the father himself. Jiajun, how does this AI translator work? And why is it considered AI? What makes it AI? Yeah, yeah. So um, video translation is... Uh, uh, actually, something some, uh, in the old time, people still work on it, right? Translation is a very big part. So mm -hmm. um, actually, my family is pretty international. So uh, my really? wife is from South Korea, and I have family members from other places like Philippines, Indonesia, Canada, and, and so on. So speak all different languages. So it's very hard to communicate um, between different people, and it, it's extremely hard when I, for example, I try to uh, watch Korean dramas or Korean materials and so on, I cannot understand. So translation has been a very big part. People used to do it manually, which means you translate manually and you record new scripts and then you uh, manually, at that time, I think you cannot double the video. But now um, all, everything can be happen with AI automatically. So which means you have a video and uh, it will extract all the audios from the video and identify the persons and they clone the voice of the person and the same person can speak their uh, same theme in different language and still keeps the emotions and so on. And it's not just their uh, voice. It also does with their face, the expression, the lip sync and all these things. We can identify the voice together with the person, associate them together, and then we change the voice, change the language, and we also change the lip of the person, and we also change the face expressions. That's how the algorithm even do beautify as well. So it works extremely well in studio setting when uh, you want to look better, more professional, then um, it, 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 it put the beautification embedded into the algorithm. Wow, that that sounds, all of that sounds so complicated to do. You, you must be extremely proud of what you've created. But do you have a reason for working so hard on this tool? Is there, is there a problem that you're trying to fix with this 
AI translator or with ACO in general? Yeah, for AI translator, as I mentioned, so <laughs> like even at at my home, like my me and my wife cannot watch the same thing together, right? I'm always oh. watching the Chinese stuff. She's always watching the Korean stuff. I don't understand, so, right? So when it becomes more available, right? Everything we watch, we can make a, a English version of it, right? We can watch together. So it's definitely something that really solves the uh, problem that we have in real life. That's that's for me, but it's also for the biggest goal. It helps a lot of other people solve problems. So. Um, for for example, a lot of business when they want to go global, it's very important for all their content to be globalized and localized to different regions, areas, and so on. So what we can do and what we are doing is we empower them to create the uh, globalized content and uh, uh, make these things uh, working uh, in different language and also make them look good in different languages and so on. So it, it greatly reduces the cost of translate into marketing materials, movies, or even all the contents that you will watch. Wow, what a great answer, Jajir. I can atone to that myself as um, I love Keijo. I'm a Korean person, but my Korean is really bad. So I, lo I love K-dramas, but I can't understand it. And being able to dub it is an amazing idea. But one thing I really like about this is that I can see that ACO is designed with versatility in mind. It caters to a broad audience from businesses looking to expand globally to even just content creators seeking to reach diverse audiences. And the benefits, oh, don't get me started on the benefits, are manifold from cost effectiveness and efficiency to increased engagement and productivity and revenue increase. There are limitless amounts of ways this tool can be used to reduce pain and increase gain. See what I did there? But, <laughs> but one very important question, Jajun, security and privacy. How does ACO address these concerns, especially when dealing with sensitive content? Um, yes. Yeah, so there are already a lot of their, uh, rules and uh, policies out regarding uh, security and uh, data privacy and so on, um, such as GDPR, CO2, and the California also have lots of rules and so on. And we uh, definitely respect all our users' uh, privacy and uh, data uh, security. And we, uh, we never touch the client's data um, and we help them to uh, best uh, use their use their own data, and they have all the rights for their own data as well. So it's all all belongs to our client. So um, we really uh, it's it's extremely important for large enterprise because enterprise data is extremely important. And we also work with some uh, studios and the movie makers, and this data are extremely important. And you cannot even leak one frame of this data. So we definitely fully respect the data privacy, security, and so on. And we also obey all the rules needed to ensure that. Oh, so you're saying everything I upload is private, right? No one else sees it? So Yeah, yeah. It, so, uh, so it's all private, no one else sees it. And you can, um, you can keep the URLs and so on. And uh, we, we work like, we work like cloud. So if you, um, wh whatever Google Cloud AWS provides for the data security, we obey the same rules. Wow, that's amazing. So if I upload a dog video, an educational video, a video of me singing, I'm a Barbie girl, or a video of a cat, no one else will see it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And also Perfect. like if you are editing a new movie that will hit the market like in three months and it's really hard. And if you don't want people to see it, no one will see it. So. That's fantastic. Then one last question for you, Jiajin. Something that many people might wonder, what can our audience expect from the future of ACOLD? Is there anything exciting that you would like to share with us? Yes. So uh, we have been quickly improving our product and so on. 
and definitely do a lot of iterations, bug fixing, and so on. Uh, so we can expect a lot of new features and things coming soon. Meanwhile, uh, I want to emphasize one program we are currently uh, launching, which is a Quo Ambassador. And for this program, if you uh, if you join, then uh, you um, you really join the Equal community. You can get deeply connected with the Equal team, and you can try out different products and uh, uh, do some promotions and so on. And meanwhile, as rewards, we will give um, a compensation as well as lots of benefits uh, to use Equals and also lots of the uh, great stuff uh, for you to get deeply engaged and uh, share lots of fun stuff. Yeah. Oh, the master. Well, that sounds amazing. Maybe, maybe I should, I'll do it. I'll do it too. Can I, can I get a friends and family bonus for the, <laughs> for the program? Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> right. Okay. But thank you so much, Yajin, for your time, for answering these questions. I hope it answered some questions that the audience might have, but Excuse me. If the audience has any questions for Jia Jun, we will have a Q&A session at the end of the webinar, so right after the demo in the next part. And along with that, I will release a form that you can input your Aqual account to get some free credit So as a thank you for joining the webinar and for being a part of the community. And I hope you are enjoying this webinar. So moving on, right before we head on to the demo, as I mentioned before, Aqual caters to a diverse range of users, from marketers and businesses looking to expand their reach to content creators on platforms like YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, I mean, X. But this tool provides infinite possibilities to anything in discovery, teaching, educational content, movie scenes, podcasts, you name it. You can use it for anything. The potential is vast, and I'm so, so excited to share some of the creative, creative applications that one can use our tool for. For example, I'm speaking English and you guys all know English, or I hope you do. If you don't know English, you're probably really confused, but it's okay because that means you're part of the 75 to 80%. Yeah, that's right. About 75 to 80% of the world population does not know English. So if you're a marketer, content creator, business, whatever you may be, and you're trying to sell a product or just make videos and you're only selling to that 20%, it's not even 20%. Some of the Americans or people that know English may not may have learned it as a second language and it might be difficult for them to know, to understand it. So even if you show them an ad in English, they might it might not resonate with them because English is not their first language. So you are very limited when you constrain yourself to one language. And that's why companies pay buckets to translate their videos. And what do I mean by buckets? Dubbing a video, so dubbing a language from English to Japanese or Japanese to English or whatever, costs $10 an hour. But that's really bad translation. It's bad, you do most of the work and it's not going to line up. Professional, $75 an hour. So a 20 minute video will cost $1,500. But this is just your content. If you want to upload something professionally, it's going to cost you $1,500 per 20-minute video. But what if you're trying to make a movie? Movies can cost up to tens to $100,000 per dub. Why does it cost so much? It's just the translation. But it's not. It's not just the translation. You have to factor in all of the additional costs. For example, professional voice actors, studio, script adaptation, sound editing, project management, licensing fees, and so, so much more. And all of that combined comes up to tens, 50,000, 70,000, up to $100,000 per movie. And it depends on the language too. So that is exactly what Jia Jun is trying to fix with Aqual's AI video translator. It just, it cuts down on, on costs. It makes it so much more efficient. It makes it so much more quicker and so much more easier. One example of, this being used so well. Let me share my screen. Let's see, I believe it should be this one. Oh, sorry, one second. Okay, let's try that again. 
Can you see my screen? Yeah, it works. Perfect. Okay. So one example is he didn't use AI video translator, but he might be someone you know is one of the biggest YouTubers out there, Mr. Beast. And as you know, he speaks English, right? He has these videos that go up to 92 million, 103 million. But what you might have not known is before YouTube came out with a feature that lets you put dubbed content in one page, he would recreate his channels, exact same thing, Mr. Beast, but in Espanol or Mr. Beast in what in Japanese or whatever. And he'll upload that exact same video, just translated. And even though it's the same thing, just because it's a different language, he's getting 25 million more views, 13 more million views. He's getting so many more views just because he changed the language. There's so much more publicity, so much more revenue, so much more content that people can see. It's just he was able to capitalize on the fact that just changing the language of, of a video can impact so much on how many people you can reach. So let's go on to some demos. Let's see. So acol.com, just type in acol.com and it will bring you right here and just join our free trial if you don't have an account or you can click on get started. And from here, you can see all of our amazing tools, image generator, face swap, background change, realistic avatar, talking photo, and video translate. Just click on it, translate video and voice with AI. And okay, it's going to get a little bit difficult. Okay, just bear with me. First step, upload video. Oh my gosh, so hard. Why would they do this to us? It's, it's the first step, just bear with me, okay? Next, choose languages. Oh wow, so hard. How could they make it so difficult? It's okay, we're almost there, just one more. Translate instantly. We made it, that's it. That's so hard that was. If you go over here, you can see the tips. It starts off by saying what kind of, or telling you what kind of languages we have, Arabic, Danish, Dutch, English, all the way to Russian, Spanish, Turkish, and try to avoid some background music and noise. Sometimes it does work if you have background music or noise in the video, but other times it might degrade the quality of the output audio. You have to try it for yourself. Try to avoid multiple people. Resolution must be between 360, 360, and 4096 by 4096. And the video must be less than 60 seconds long and 300 megabytes. By the so, way, I think our algorithm handles most of the background music and the multiple person K feed, but there's no guarantee. So, uh, but you, you you can have a try and uh, highly likely they will still work. So Yeah, it, so from what I've seen, it actually does work. It, most of the time it does work. There are just those like rare instant cases that it doesn't work. Just, just giving you guys a warning, sometimes it won't work. But most of the time when I've tried it, it works. I think I have an example where it shows that it does work. But let's start off with uploading a new video. First step. So go over here and what I'm going to do is do this one. And then while it's loading, let's look at some examples that is on Echo's page. For example, Mike Zucker. Most other tech companies focus on how people- Can you hear it? Yeah, I can hear. Okay. People interact with technology. We focus on building technology so people can interact with each other. Amazing. And I want to hear it in France. Or in French, not French. Oh. Most other tech- I, that is weird. Oh, okay. I guess we'll just look at that example. I'm not too sure why this one didn't work. Oh, there it is. Thank you, Mark Zuckerberg. Very good presentation. So this is the video I'm going to test out. I want to learn the Pythagorean theorem. But it's in Chinese. I have no idea what she's saying. What is she saying? But I really want to learn it from her. Why? I don't know. I just do. For fun. I want to, I want to know what she's, what she's saying. So I uploaded the video. Next step, choose language. I, of course, want it in English so I can, hear, I can understand it. And click on translate the video. And then once it finishes, click on results. And... It will take a few minutes to process, maybe about five minutes. Sometimes it might take long, take longer depending on how many people are using it, but usually it's a little bit quick. 
But just to save you guys some time, I already have it done here. In this video, I will talk about the Pythagorean theorem. It states that for a right triangle, if the lengths of the three sides are ABC, where A and B are the shorter sides and C is the hypotenuse, then C squared equals A squared plus B squared. Why is this? Let me show you with proof by taking- Wow. A, who would have known? A squared plus B squared equals C squared is, is a Pythagorean theorem. I never would have known, but now I do because of this translator. Thank you so much, A. Cole. But it doesn't just translate from Chinese to English. You could do Chinese to German, for example. We don't have to watch the whole thing again. I already know how to do it now. Or let's say you don't know English. You found a video in English and you want to watch it in your language. Then, let's say you're Korean. There you go. Or let's say you're making a wildlife documentary. You found this cool cat and you recorded it. You put it together and made a whole documentary about it. Now it's time to translate it. Seule une chasse sur trois menée par un chat de palace est couronnée de succès. Cependant, malgré son attitude bougonne, il reste adorable. And one very cool thing is, if you've ever watched BBC News or these documentaries, the, the voice sounds like this. Echo clones the voice so that way it's not just a random male voice translating it or random female or just or my voice. It's their voice. If you look at the next one, Vain yksi ja kolmesta metsästyksestä palatsin kissalla on onnistunut. Yksi on kärsimä. Very cute, very cute. Or maybe a cooking video. Gordon Ramsay's Hell's Kitchen. That looks so good. But one thing I like about this video is if you wait a second. Maybe at you can see she pops up in frame and she's speaking it. She's speaking it. We didn't translate it. She knows Chinese now. She she's learned it like five years ago. She's always she's always known Chinese. That's incredible. Or let's say you want to translate a presentation, a TED talk, for example. This is a great example of the power of equal. So as you see. As you can see here, even though it's the side of her face, like this, the filter does not come off. It does not break. It just keeps going. And if you pay attention right here, if you look at her hair, do you see that? Do you see? Let me see. Do you see how her hair, just for a brief moment, blocks her face? But even though the hair blocks her face, the filter does not break. It just keeps going. It's as if the filter's not there. It's as if she's the one speaking the language. You see that? Not a single break in the filter. That's pretty amazing. And this is a different language. Just to show you. All right. And then what is one other example we could do? What is something that everyone loves, that every nation loves, gets together for? Sports. What is the biggest sport? Soccer? No. Basketball? Not even close. It's Shrek Dog Race. Oh, Dios mío, ese es el Shrek. Bueno, es Charlie Sheen a las 4 de la madrugada. Cuando acaba de salir de Ripper Magus, buscando por la ciudad para ver si puede encontrar uno perseguido por su dueño psicótico que lo golpeará si no se desempeña bien. De todos modos, Shrek subiendo por el... <laughs> <laughs> uh, just a couple more examples I apologize for going through so many but I just want to show you guys just how many use cases there are with our video translator what is employees when you get a new job you get empl employee training you get an employee training video who has to make the video the employer or he has to hire someone to make it and let's say you're a big company and you want to expand to Asia to, to India to Europe you need to create a new video or you have to translate it or just put it in a call. 
Todos nós provavelmente estamos mais envolvidos em chamadas de conferência hoje em dia. As chamadas de conferência podem ser complicadas, embaraçosas. Just like that. Now you can just translate it and give it to all of their employees. Or an interview with Kim Kardashian. And the reason I like this example is you can see that there are a lot of cuts. A lot of cuts in the video, but even though the video cuts a lot, the translation doesn't break and the filter comes right back on. And then if I refresh the video, this look at that, the video's done. I will explain the Pythagorean theorem in this video. It states that for a right triangle. I already know how to do it now. It's A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Thanks to the video earlier. So those are some of the use cases, but there are so many more things you could do with it. I, I touched, the, it's not even the tip of the iceberg. You could do gaming videos, for example. So many gaming content is coming out. So many people are streaming. So many people are, are playing new games like Pal World, if you've heard of it. And why would you stream again? Why would you only upload to the 20%? Why not? upload to the entire world. Just up, put your video in ACO and then after a few minutes, you, it'll come out in a different language and just do it again and again and again in French, Korean, Chinese, Russian. And now the entire world can watch your amazing videos, not just the 20% of English speakers. So that is some of the use cases that you can do with a cold. Thank you guys so, so much for staying all the way here for the webinar. I know it, it, I hope you guys enjoyed it. So as I promised, we will go into the Q and A and I will share the form. And just to make sure that the form stays within this community or the people that stayed here. I will be closing the form by the end of the Q&A. So make sure you fill it out. I promise it's really quick. It's just your email where, where you watched it from. And it is an optional part where you can leave feedback, but it's totally optional. Just your email will be perfectly fine. So, so here it is. And then let me put it in YouTube. Okay, let me know if the form does not work. If Jiajun wants to test it out to make sure it works, it works for me, but I don't know if I, if it's private for some reason. Let's see. Should be working, right? What is this thing for? This is the form to put your email in to get free credit. I, I'm sorry, I should have mentioned it. This is just put in your email and what, where you watched this stream from and you'll get free credit as a thank you for being a part of this community. Oh, I think you have permission issue in this form. You need to open oh, it for man. everyone. Okay. It is only available within a cool. So if you go to the form and uh, go to the settings, you can you can open it. Um, I am in settings. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It should be working now. That is entirely my fault for overlooking it. Let's see. Okay, I'm sending a new link to you guys. Try this one. And then if you guys have any questions for either me or Jiajin, please let us know. Oh, let's see. No form arrived in the Zoom.
But I think you shared the form and then you shared actually two different forms. Oh, there we go. There we go. Them works, so. Try this one. Yeah, I think either one will work. Yes, Scott, do you see the form now? Okay, perfect. All right. So, any questions? I guess if there are no questions, I will leave the form up for a couple minutes after I end the stream, just so everyone can get it done. But if there are no questions, thank you guys so much for joining the stream. Oh, will you have video relapsing? So, um, what does relapse mean? <laughs> uh, what is video relapsing? Honestly, I'm not too sure. Do you, do you mind? Yeah, do you mind can you explain your question a little, bit? a little bit? What What is video relapsing? Before, okay, while she talks about, or while she expands the question, Gloria asks, if part of the video generated has bugs, how can I fix that part? One solution that I found is sometimes when you upload a very long video with a bunch of cuts, depending on, um, I don't know what you're using, face swap, video translator, but if there's a bunch of parts with, could be different people, but if it's different cuts, the face changes, the AI might have a difficult time remembering, oh, this is the same person as the person in the previous cut. So then bugs might appear and the best solution to fix that is to cut the video into shorter lengths, preferably where the cuts are and make sure again, there's as less least amount of people in the background as possible. But if you cut the video short, it should fix it. And that's usually how I fix the problem. If that doesn't work, if you go into our Discord, open a ticket, and share the video with me. I'd be more than happy to test out the video for you guys. Sometimes this I get this question a lot and then I ask them to send a video. I just cut it into little bits and I send it back to them and it always works. So try it for yourself. If it doesn't, just go on to Discord and I'd be more than happy to help you. Yeah, uh, I just checked. So relapsing is actually we call the- Oh, lip, lip sync, sorry. Yeah, 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 that's the lip sync. So yeah, so the all the demos we showed, there is already lip sync inside. So we already have lip sync built in and you can try it out. Like the demo Eugene showed for the TED talk and for the chef and all of them, there is already lip sync built in. So Eugene, maybe uh, after it, uh, maybe you can share the links of all these uh, demos later or something. Um, so they can take a closer look. Uh, all of them already have lip sync. So it's already built in. Sure, I can. And if Gene wants, I can go over one of the demos right after the Q&A. But for now, um, you already click on the... Okay, perfect. Thank you for filling out the form. Yeah, so currently lip sync is by default enabled. But we noticed that actually in lots of videos, people don't need that. So uh, in our next version, it will be optional. So you can either do lip sync or don't do it. But currently it's by default, we do lip sync on every video. So if there's no face, no people talking, then uh, we'll only change the background. No lip sync is needed, but we will auto detect whether lip sync is needed or not. If it's needed, then it's already automatically being applied. Who fills out the form gets the credit. Yeah, if you fill out the form, you'll get credit. And then Scott asked, can you suggest a good free application for splitting MP4 file into smaller segments? One of my favorite applications is Adobe Premiere, but obviously it's not free. And one other application that is free that I absolutely love. I think this it's such a good application and it works on mobile too. So if you don't like doing it on your laptop, it's perfect for mobile. It's CapCut. And I think, I'm not sure if it's owned by TikTok, 
but I know they work together. I don't know if it's a dip different company that just collaborates with TikTok or if TikTok owns it. But whenever I'm too lazy to go on my computer or whenever I'm too lazy to open Adobe, I'll go on to Google. Okay, I'll type it in both chats. CapCut is an amazing video editing editing tool. It has almost everything you can ask for. There are like some things that you can't get, like very, very detailed stuff. But for basic editing, or even a majority of the editing that you would need, CapCut will, will be able to do it for you. And if it's just to split MP4 files, CapCut do it, will do it easily. Any more questions? Okay. So there is more questions coming up, I see. Um so one is can you describe when I should choose to enable or not enable the face enhancement feature when doing face swap on a video? So yeah, so <clears throat> basically the face enhancement, what it does is it increase the resolution of the face and also make the face more like uh studio quality stuff which means probably remove some of the details and so on um so if you are working on very low resolution videos and you enable the face enhancement um sometimes the face will look uh different from the rest of the video if you don't enable that it will blend in uh better but when you are working with very high quality videos, especially like in studio setting with makeups and so on, enable the face enhancement will look great. So that depends on the scenario, um, what kind of video you are working on, if it's a low quality video and so on, uh, turning that on will make the face uh, stand out, something dif look different from the rest of the video. But if you are working with a uh, high quality video, like studio quality video and uh, like professional shots for models and so on, turning that on will look amazing. And for the next thing is, I see you have talking photo, but I have no way Gen 2 video to do real lip sync. I use Sync Labs for now. Will you have this feature soon? So, um, we do lip sync. It's currently not a separate feature uh, to sync to lip sync the video. Uh, we might launch this feature because the, the fundamental technology behind is same. It's exactly same. Um, there's no uh, the only difference is the only work we need to do is design a new user interface and. Uh, launch this out and so on. But the, the, the thing behind the hood is exactly the same and we have a very good technology now. So uh, we are likely to launch it. And you mentioned about sync labs and so on. And we, we also tried these. These are terrible. So they, they are really terrible. I, I can honestly tell you their quality is terrible. So uh, we will definitely do much better than them. And uh, we'll, we'll likely provide the APIs for lip sync as well and so on uh, pretty soon. And uh, yeah, you can you can expect a lot of fun things coming. Yeah, uh, a bold statement coming from you. <laughs> we have another question. Oh, any ideas for copying your own voice to record video scripts? Uh, sorry. So what is that? And they... Copy, uh, I think they're asking about custom voices. Oh, so yeah. So we actually, our backend is already supported and uh, we also support voice clone and uh, support all these things. So on the voice side, uh, we, our backend already support a lot of the things. It's our front end designs and, and the new engineers have lots of other works currently ongoing. So we just didn't integrate the, the custom voice and the voice clone and the things yet. But these things will 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 
will come out gradually. I think likely pretty soon. So we'll see based on our based on the schedule on our side. Yeah, that's good. And then there's one question I missed earlier. Um, do you have face swap direct onto the video feature later on? I think this was swap direct. What does that mean? I think this was a question regarding a question they asked earlier. Um, Do you have face swap direct onto the video feature later on? So yeah, so um, I'm not exactly understanding what it is, but we do have face swap and you can apply it on all the videos that it works on multiple persons. And it, it not just swap the face, you can also enhance the face to make it uh, look better, more beautiful. And you can even change the age of the person. Uh, and all of them works on videos consistently, so. Okay, any more questions? Do you see any more questions, Jiajun? Oh, uh, I think, I think that's it. So yeah, if you have more questions. Oh, please... one second. You have already face swap on the picture. What do you mean by that? So, so I think he might have some misunderstanding. He might thought our face swap only works for pictures, but doesn't work for video. That's not right. Our face swap works for video and it works for video very well. So you can, you can go to our website and just upload a video and it just works. <laughs> and actually video is the uh, majority of the assets we are processing in the video. So um, it, by default, it works for video and uh, it works great for video. Yeah. Yeah, I hope that answered your question. Okay. If there are no more questions from you guys, thank you guys so much for joining the webinar. And thank you, Jiajin, for giving up some of his time to talk about ACO and for giving you guys some of free, some free credit. <laughs> I, I should get some free credit too for doing this. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining. We appreciate it so much. And thank you for being a part of this community. We are trying our best to fix any bugs or any issues that may arise. Please let us know if you guys have any feedback or input. Join the Discord and open a ticket and let me know if there's any problem, if there are any problems you're facing. And I'd be more than happy to help you guys out. Again, thank you guys so much for joining. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye, everyone. Thank you.